Hi everybody, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. So I've been covering iOS 15 in the past couple of videos, and today we're gonna to take a look at Safari on iOS 15. So right when you launch Safari, we now have new options for customizing our home screen, including what it shows, what it looks like, and more. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see the edit view. So for starters, we have the ability to sync our start page with all of our other iCloud devices. Then you can also choose what you have on there and the order as well. So you can have your favorites up top or maybe the new shared with you section up top or a privacy report or iCloud tabs, which will show the tabs on your other devices such as an iPad or a Mac. And then you can also customize your background image like we can do on the Mac now. So I have this wallpaper, but we can switch it up and make it this or this. And then you can see that will reflect on the background, which looks super good. Of course, up top, you have your bookmarks. So this is gonna be bookmarks that have been imported um, from your other devices or wherever your bookmarks come from. Then you have your reading list Then you have your history. And of course, depending on what you choose in your settings, that's gonna show up differently on your home screen page. Now your shared with you is a new feature. So if you get texts from different people, those texts will show up in the shared with you section. So you can be reminded of someone shared you an article or a link or something like that. You also now get a privacy report, which is gonna give you a little bit of information about tracking and what's been going on with your web browsing. And you can scroll through that. Now you also see that there's a redesign on the bottom. So now your tabs live on the bottom and you can actually swipe between your tabs, left and right. And this feels a lot like the switching between apps on the iPhone with multitasking, but now you have that down here. And when you scroll, it moves a tab bar down to the bottom. So now the menu bar that used to live up top is at the bottom. So you can see your URL down there. And if you wanna search for something, you tap there and the back and forward and the tab and the search box are all kind of one new option. And you have this unified search field. And if you swipe all the way to the right, you can open up a new tab just like that. So if you, this is your last open tab, you can swipe to the right and it will open up a new tab for you. Now, of course you have the tab view here, which is different. So now you have the grid view instead of the stacked card view that you had before. And then clicking here will show you your tabs as well as if you wanna start a new private window private browsing. And then you can also do tab groups. So if you're doing a research project or uh, maybe you want, you're shopping for a new camera and you want a bunch of tabs just for that shopping experience, you can create a tab group and you can give it a name and then you can add specific tabs to that group. So again, if you're shopping for a camera or doing research for a paper, you could add a bunch of different tabs to that group to help you stay organized. Now, when you're on a web page, you can always tap at the top to go back up top. That's the same as before. And you can see it looks a little bit more full screen than it did before because this goes down to the bottom. And then also when you scroll up, this bar will pop up and then when you scroll back down, it'll go away. And then if you wanna refresh, you can pull to refresh at the top. Now, if you wanna get into different settings, you can click the three dots at the bottom and this will pull up a lot of your different options. So you can go into reader view, which is unfortunate that reader view is not one tap away anymore on the iPhone. It's now two taps away. You also have read later and reload and share and then copy then all your other options, including request desktop site. But you can also customize this. So if you wanna add something to your favorites, such as request desktop site, you can add that to your favorite. And then up top, we now have request desktop website closer to the top, so you don't have to scroll down for it. And now also if you have something to download, so for instance, if I wanted to download this linked file, click on that and downloads also live in here. So you can see downloads is right there. Now when we're looking at Safari on the iPad, it's gonna be a similar experience. We have the customizable home screen and launch page uh, with the shared with you options and more. So you can customize that um, and do whatever you want with it. And you can also have it sync with your other devices. And up top, we have the redesign. So you can see your tabs are up top instead of the bottom, like on the iPhone, but we have this unified smart search field uh, box at the top. So you could search for a link. Um, so you go to amazon.com or you could do a Google search just like before. But then you have all your tabs up here and you see what that looks like, and your tab becomes your search box, which actually works pretty nicely and keeps that centered. But then you can scroll through your tabs and choose something else. 
and also the window that you're in kind of takes the color of the header, which makes it feel like you're in an app. So this is a really nice look. So you can see that the status bar changes color with the app that you're in. So that looks really nice. Very similar features and functions though. And not a whole lot has changed there. This menu lives off to the side. It actually does a really good job of matching the color of the status bar just to make your page feel more unified as you're scrolling through. So that is Safari for iPhone. It's definitely going to be a little bit confusing for people that are very used to everything being laid out simply up top. This really relies more on that floating design and gestures, which I think does actually work well for the iPhone. It is nice to switch between tabs very quickly just with a swipe. And then finally, new customizations for your wallpaper background for your default view, as well as the shared with you section is gonna be pretty nice for just amping up and making the Safari experience a little bit better on the iPhone. Let me know your thoughts on this. There's definitely some pros and cons and there's a little bit of a learning curve for people that knew Safari before but now have to kind of relearn it.